now that we understand a little bit about probability and how to calculate it, let's tackle a couple problems. So we're going to start off with a little bit more challenging problem. This involves geometric probability. So the question here is, what is the probability that if I throw a dart and the dart has to be inside, or has to end up inside of the square, what's the probability that I'm going to land inside of the circle? So all I'm doing is I'm calculating the ratio of the circle to the total area of possible outcomes. So the way that I find that is I figure out that this is a square. I know that uh, the radius of the circle is going to be half of the length of the square, which is 9. And I know that the area of a circle is going to be pi r squared. So that will be 81 pi. So those are the total number of outcomes where I threw a dart and it gets into the circle. And let's just say that the chance of me hitting the circle or not the circle are equally the same. So the probability that I'll get in the circle throwing that dart is going to be 81 pi over the total area of possible outcomes, which equals a square. And that's going to be 324. Now we can turn this on its head and we can say, well then, what's the probability of it not hitting the circle? So not in the circle. In this case, it's going to be the area that's not in the circle, these edges here. And the way that I calculate this area is I take the entire square and I subtract the circle and then I'm left with the edges. So remember the entire square area was 324. And I subtract 81 pi. And then I take that over the total number of possible outcomes in terms of area, and that would just be 324. So I have this area, this blue area, the corners, over the entire square, and that's the probability that I will throw a dart and hit it, or hit a spot that's not in the circle. Okay, let's go on to a couple maybe not so challenging problems. The first is from your text 10.3a number 5. What is the probability of choosing a number uh, from 1 through 60, assuming that you have to choose that the numbers between 1 and 60, that is a multiple of 5? Okay, well, we can find out that there are 12 multiples of 5 in 60. We've got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, and 60. And that's out of a total number of 60 possible choices. So I have 12 outcomes where the value is a multiple of 5 over the total number of outcomes, which is 60. And that gives me 1 over 5. Let's choose another problem similar to that. I have, I'm choosing a number from 1 to 60. And I want to find the probability that it is an odd number less than 15. OK, so remember that the probability of the event is the number of outcomes of that event over the total number of outcomes. And that includes both A and non-A. So the total number of outcomes is going to be 60. right? I have 60 numbers. I have 60 possible outcomes. And now I want to figure out how many odds are less than 15 between 1 and 60. So I've got 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, and 13. And remember it says an odd less than. It doesn't say less than and equal to 15. So I'm left with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 outcomes where I choose an odd number that's less, less than 15. OK, now remember we talked about odds in favor and odds against as being very similar, but a little bit different than probability. So let's take a look at uh, a problem number 11 on 10.3b. You have a 20-sided die, and each side has one number, 1 through 20. And you want to figure out the odds against rolling a 1, 3, or a 5. So remember the odds against are just the number of outcomes not A over the number of outcomes that are A. And remember again, this differs a little bit from probability in that the denominator for probability is a total number of outcomes, whereas the uh, odds against are for 
considers the value that is not some value or the value that is some value. So make sure you understand that distinction. So the odds against rolling a 1 through a 5, the total number of outcomes that are not A are going to be 17. So it would be, I can roll a die, and 17 of those outcomes are not going to be 1, 3, or 5. Over the total number of outcomes that are A is 3. So this is, these are the odds against rolling a 1, 3, or 5. It's 17 over 3.